Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we're going to introduce a new pipe, the async pipe. This pipe is great for handling asynchronous data, such as for example the courses data that we are receiving here. Notice first that what we are doing here is we are doing an HTTP GET call and we are manually subscribing to the observable that we get here as the result of the GET call. The async pipe is going to allow us to implicitly subscribe to this observable from the template and it's going to allow us to build build our components in a more reactive way. Notice that here we are defining a variable called courses that could lead the maintainer of this class to try to mutate this variable directly, for example. Now in order to avoid that, we are going to alternatively define here a courses observable variable and we are going to add here a dollar at the end of the variable to annotate it as being an observable and we are going to declare this as an observable of course array. This simply means means that the values emitted by this observable over time are going to be each value an array of courses. So we are going to instead of calling here the get observable we are going to instead assign it to this variable. So this dot courses is going to be identical to this observable here returned by this get call. We can even add here a parametric type to the get call in order to specify what type is getting returned by this get call, in this case course array. Notice that at this point the courses member variable is no longer being filled in by the component so we are going to clear it from the component. Now let's see how in the template we can use the courses observable. If we switch here to the template we are going to see that we are still expecting here a variable called courses and we want to iterate through a list of courses. We can obtain this courses variable from the courses observable by subscribing to it. We are going to wrap this in parentheses. We are going to take the courses observable and we are going to apply it the async pipe. The async pipe is a special built-in Angular pipe that is going to take the courses observable and it's going to subscribe to it. The async pipe would also work with a promise. So we are going to subscribe to this observable, we are going to wait for the value to get emitted and that will happen when the list of courses arrives from the backend. Once that happens, the value of this expression here is going to be replaced with the value that we got from the backend, so the list of courses. Then we are going to iterate through it using ng4 and we are going to display it on the screen. Let's try this out, if we reload here the application, we are going to see that indeed we still have here our list of courses. As as expected. Now let's quickly see an alternative syntax for doing the same thing that we have here. We are going to be using here the ngif syntax. We are going to apply here this expression courses pipe async and we are going to give this expression an alias name. For that we are going to use the ngif as syntax and we are going to provide here to this expression an alternative name courses. This means that here in our ng4 loop we can use courses to loop through the course cards. So if we try this out as we can see we still get here the same list of courses as expected. In general, if you are fetching data from a backend and you are receiving an observable in return from a service in your service layer, I would recommend to pass the data to the template using the async pipe because this has the big advantage that whenever the component gets destroyed, the async pipe will take care of unsubscribing from the observable. And this is very helpful in order to prevent memory leaks. Let's now continue to learn about Angular services. Let's learn how to build our first custom Angular service. 